Good lord, your girl is out of breath. Like genuinely, truly, out of damn breath. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for tuning in. If you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for stopping back. Bye. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, this is a what is in my hospital bag. So, I'm going to show you what I have packed in my bag, and I'm also going to show you what I have packed in baby's bag. So, um, if you like these type of videos, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos, and let's go ahead and jump into this video on today. Okay, so I am currently 38 weeks in some change I'll be 39 weeks tomorrow um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and I just might be having this baby tomorrow so <laughs> so this is the baby bump baby bump at almost 39 weeks which 39 weeks will be tomorrow so we are just a few hours from 39 weeks but here is the baby since I might be having this baby tomorrow, I just wanted to make sure that I went through my bags one more time and make sure that I had everything that I felt like I wanted and needed. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into uh, the baby bag. So this baby bag here, I will do my best to link it uh, down below, but I got it from Amazon. It's got a handle on the top, zipper on top, um, a pocket here that is insulated where you can put bottles um, as well as like a little net patch here and then it comes with the wipe insert on the side because it's got the uh, hole there and then another pocket on this side and then there's also a pocket here in the back that gives you another little zipper compartment so that's like the main frame of the bag so again top handle and then back straps for a backpack feel so when I open it up I have my car seat cover in here because I just don't want no germs on my baby and then I've got two pair of socks and then let me pull all this stuff out here um the uh what is this the diaper bag also comes with a zipper here on the inside wait let me show it this way a zipper here and then another zipper here and it does come with a net zipper pocket right here along this side and then it also comes with two pockets here that you could just put stuff in. And then as you can see, there are also pockets on the ends on either side. And on this side, I have size newborn and size one of the Huggy Special Delivery. And then I also have here these Huggy Special Delivery wipes. And then I also put in here the water wipes as well as the honest wipes that I got for a sample because I didn't know which ones I might want to use and we're not going to be there that long so yeah so here's two more socks because I didn't know I already had these other socks in here so I'm actually I'm actually going to put just two pair of socks in here and these other two are going to go <laughs> back up um, I do have everything organized behind me for his stuff and I've been doing a little bit of nesting um, But anyways, that's not what we're here for um, It also came with this changing pad here um, I'm not putting my baby on that dirty stuff. So yeah, I was so happy that it actually came with a changing pad because There was another changing pad that I was actually gonna buy on Amazon, but since this one came with one I was like, yeah he also got another diaper bag, but this is going to be his hospital diaper bag, you know. So he got two outfits in here. 
he's got this little outfit it's the these are the pants this is the matching hat that goes with it and then this is the onesie that goes with it so this is actually size newborn and it looks so tiny um i really do think it shrunk a little bit but whatever so we got that tiny outfit and then we got this outfit here with his name on it it also comes with the hat with his name and then it comes with the matching pants um, which I think these are so stinking cute. So, yes, that's another outfit. And I think this one with his name on it is size 0 to 3 months. Um, I don't know which one he's going to be able to fit. So, that's why I kind of brought two outfits. Um, I really want him to wear the one with his name on it. But if it's too big, you know, I just have the other one just in case. And so, um, I also brought this swaddling blanket that is engraved with or that has his name on it as well as a hat that goes with it so you know we end up having to stay overnight he will probably be wrapped in this and then I brought a sleep sack um, in the event that you know I don't actually swaddle him in the blanket this is actually a sleep sack um, the hospital did recommend that you bring one so I did and then this is just a receiving blanket here um, just to have one just in case because I don't know it's something about hospital stuff that makes my skin crawl and I actually was gonna put one oh here it is and this is just another onesie um, fueled by Jesus and milk I thought it was so stinking cute and so um, in the event that any of the other stuff doesn't fit he'll at least have that onesie to put on so that's what's in his diaper bag hospital bag and then like I said the two pair of socks and my car seat cover because we're not gonna be there that long we getting in and we getting out okay and that is what's in my baby's hospital bag. If you feel like I forgot something, let me know down below. It'll probably be too late because I've been already had this baby. But <laughs> in the event that you feel like I forgot something, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And so let's get into my bag. This big bag. Now, part of me feels like I might put too much in here. And part of me feels like, girl, it's not enough. So... First thing that is actually on top is this mug that says mom. Okay, you can't see that. But it says mom, uh, established 2022. This was my Mother's Day gift from my sister. And it came with these warm fuzzy socks that were on the inside. And everybody knows that hospitals are cold. So I needed these socks. Um, And let's see. I got the oh no it's been wasting this whole time oh bless my little heart anyways because I opened it up you know just to see what it was but it's these tux medicated cooling pads um everybody suggests that you get these so I ended up getting them um yeah I think they work I tried it you know it's cooling and yeah if you need that comfort here it is you know and then I have this nursing bra here this nursing bra is actually from Target and if I can remember I will leave the link to everything down below if I remember I will honestly do my best um I also have this robe so a good friend of mine oh this witch hazel stuff is everywhere because I did not know it was open but anyways I have this robe in here she said that she felt better in a robe when she 
went to the hospital so this is a robe and I'm really excited to put it on actually because it's super soft and then it also comes with a swaddle blanket and a hat to match so yeah I just thought that was cute I'm gonna take all of it um, in the event that I don't put him in the other one but we have that there we have our postpartum belly band um, which is really important of banding after you have your baby so I made sure that I put mine in here which I can probably take it out of this plastic but to keep everything together I just left it in the plastic and then I had this Palmer's um, stretch mark cream in here but it don't really work that well for me but I'm just gonna take it anyways cuz I don't want to take my big thing of lotion that I normally put on so I took that and then I got my nipple butter which this is a new one and I don't really want to take a new one to the hospital so I'm about to switch this out for the one that I've currently been using and just put this new one in the bathroom and put the old one in this bag and then I also got the Earth Mama Herbal Perineal Spray, which I was interested in using this um, just because they said that it feels good, just like the Tux cooling pads. So I was like, I'll try one and then I'll try both, you know, but they said it's real sensitive down there. So I'm just kind of keep in mind that it's going to be sensitive. And then I have my towels, so a washcloth and a big towel so that I can take a shower. And then I have I have this uh, bag with some some little cheap white flip flops from Dollar Tree because these is gonna be my shower shoes because I'm not stepping in that shower barefoot. I'm not doing it. And then here are some slippers to walk around the floor in. And then this is my actual hospital gown that I am going to wear. Um, so I'm going to put this gown on probably to deliver in. And then once I deliver him, I'm going to change into my robe. So that's the plan. And then I also brought, because I plan on breastfeeding, I also brought a Propel and I also brought a Body Armor because I heard that both of these help increase your um, milk supply. And then I also brought two bottles of water, but I think I'm actually going to leave the bottles of water and just take the body armor and the propel since I now have a cup to take with me so yeah I think I'm gonna do that and then I have I was like I missed the bag I have another bag which has this green this green um what do you call it sundress um that's like spaghetti strap like this i have this halter top um sundress and then i have this or this one is tube top and then this one is the halter top one so i gave myself a couple of options because i didn't know what I was going to feel most comfortable in. So, yeah. That smelled weird to me. But anyways, those were the three options that I gave myself so that I could just be comfortable and come on home. So, yes. And then I also have a blanket in here so that I can feel like home. Um, yeah, I just want to bring a blanket so that 
I can feel like home and um, smell like home. You know. So yeah, let me put that back in here. Put this in here. We put these drinks in here. Oh, I think I should put my socks in here with this stuff. Which that can go on that side. And then, boom, boom. Okay, and then the last bag, oh, let me put my tail back in here. Cause she clean. Ooh, the last bag here is my toiletry bag. So in here I have the Smarty Pants prenatals. Um, just because I want to make sure that I'm still taking my prenatals even though I'm in the hospital. And in my free, you know, baby gift registry bag or whatever, I got both of these Lancino things in here. And they both have um, nipple pads in them or nursing pads in them for like if I'm leaking. So, I brought these two. I brought a toothbrush because if I take this toothbrush to the hospital, it's not coming back home. And I'm not taking my personal toothbrush that I use every day here at home to the hospital. I think that's weird and nasty and I'm just not doing it. So, I just got an extra 99 cent toothbrush and that's what we're going to be using. And then I got um, some Lysol because what we will be doing is disinfecting the areas in there. I have my Dr. Bronner's unscented baby soap here. I have a face mask just in case I need to like relax and try to you know get my mind together and do something to help me stay calm either during labor or would it be my self care for after labor. I also have mouthwash and toothpaste cause girl these all go hand in hand baby we can't have no hot breath just cause we having kids. Um, I brought this natural deodorant here by Tom's. Um, just to be, just to be putting some deodorant on um and it's natural so that it won't like really bother me or my baby um and then i got some lysol disinfectant wipes so of course these two go hand in hand because we wiping down everything and then some aquaphor lip repair chapstick because everybody talks about how dry your lips is your, how dry your lips get when you are in labor so yeah I got that and then I brought one two three four five adult diapers because um yeah I might try the mesh underwear that they do provide for you at the hospital but in the event that I do not care for them I have my own adult diapers to go ahead and put on so that is what's in my toiletry bag if you feel like I forgot something, let me know down below in the comments. Again, it's probably going to be too late by the time this video goes up. But I would love to hear what you all put in your um, toiletry or in your hospital bag in regards to your toiletries. Um, so, yes. But let me get this back in here, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So, that is what is in my personal hospital bag as well as my baby's hospital bag so again if you feel like we left something out then of course go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section be sure you hit that subscribe button to be a part of the family and so that you don't miss out on another video also give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you did enjoy it and we are very much looking forward to meet baby five so I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>